Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we are going to finally be switching over my winter clothes to my spring summer clothes. Now today is very deceiving because it is extremely windy and very cold, but it's been like in the high 70s, 80s like lately and I just haven't been wearing my winter clothes at all lately so I decided to finally get them out of um, storage and I'm going to put everything in here away except for a few things because obviously I'm going to keep out like a couple cardigans or that kind of thing for the days that do get kind of cold and my like work hoodie and that kind of stuff but we're, we're going to go through all of that as I go and then um, if you have been here for a while you know that I have quite the mug collection so my mugs um, I had to actually separate them out by season because I had so many that I like section all the ones that look like spring and winter and autumn and kind of put them in different bins. So all of these are my like winter um, kind of mugs. So I'm going to be switching those out as well. Just giving this whole like shelf system a clean up because it has like some serious dust and just like spills and stuff on it. And it's really hard to clean. So I'm taking the opportunity now to do that. But yeah, it's definitely about time. So let's get started on this. I'm also going to be going through my clothes and getting rid of any ones that I haven't worn this year or haven't worn for a while. Most of my clothes I have are the ones that I like, I'm like knocking stuff over already. Most of them that I have are already ones that I wear on a regular basis. I'm pretty good about like as I go getting rid of clothes that I know I'm not going to wear anymore. But there might be some even in my summer um, clothes that I'm going to get rid of or ones like from here that need to go into like a memory box instead because I got them when I went somewhere but I don't really wear them anymore. And like yeah, so we're just gonna go from there and just switch everything out. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with my mugs first and get all of this stuff cleaned off and all of that, and um, just kind of condense things here a little bit more before I move on to the clothes section. I also have um, random stuff like to just throw away like little cotton pads and stuff that I use for my face, because on this shelf is all my skincare things. So yeah, I have a lot going on in this closet. But anyways, I'm just going to start getting all of the trash out of here, cleaning it up. I can get rid of this. I have this nail in here that was in my tire not too long ago um, when I was coming down the um, dirt road for my work. This somehow found its way into my tire and made it explode basically so I still have that but I don't think I need to hold on to it anymore. I get into like a like paralysis of what I need to move out of the way first before I move on to the next thing but I also have candles here that are good for spring and some are good for winter so and then I have this like tiny little place underneath here I think you can even see underneath it that is like very dangerous for me because I tend to just shove things under there. So there's kind of like random stuff under there as well. I don't even know if I want to touch that right now. I've opened that like Pandora box. Uh, let me see if I can see anything that's under there right now. I am just going to literally take everything out and wipe it all down first because I think that that's the best way to start. More random stuff. Of course it's going to be mostly random things. I have like a newspaper article, um, really sweet, one of the volunteers at the horse place gave it to me, they were like talking about a new pack of endangered grey wolves found and all of that. That was quite a while ago. I have an old credit card, <laughs> I just have so much stuff under here. I have an old, I actually remember, I think I remember getting this one. I started collecting wolf plates. Seriously, Dusty, I should not have done that with my sleeve. Anyways, I started collecting old, like, antique wolf plates. You can see the wolf in the forest there. And um, this one's really pretty, so now that I have kind of a system down for decorating and shelves in my room, I might actually put this one up instead of just having it literally hidden away for no reason. I have two. Let me see what the other one is. I even have like a little card here. This one is pretty as well. So just random, random things. Um, I don't even know if they're really like 
worth anything, but I think that they're really pretty for putting up on the wall. Now we can probably move on to the mugs. Um, we just move some more random stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get a towel and wipe everything down because it is gross in there. like amazing and slightly concerning <laughs> how many mugs I have and uh, you know I just keep getting more here and there I'm not as bad as I used to be about just like going to TG Maxx and getting whatever mug I thought was cute but I'm still definitely a little bit a hoarder but I mean like how pretty you know like how can I pass up a mug that looks that pretty but anyways I'm just gonna place them here for now and then go from there on where I want to arrange them like this one is so cute, isn't it? So, anyways. I just have big ones, so. But okay, that's it for now. All the other mugs that I have that are in the sink or whatever, there's just a couple. I'll wash them later and put them on here as well as I go. But um, I can now start to put away the mugs that I do have from winter, put them back up in the top of my closet and wait until next season to use them. Alright, now that we got all of that cleared out on this side, it looks much better. We're going to ignore this top shelf here for now. I'm going to do that at some other point, but I want to start going through all of my sweaters and everything. And like I said, like today in particular, it's like very, very cold. I'm wearing like long sleeve pajamas and stuff. I still have a bunch of dust on my sleeve. Anyways, and it's very cold today and it was cold yesterday, but it is transitioning into spring and I do live in California so the weather is bipolar until it's not and then it just gets hot and it's you know my least favorite time of the year but either way I have to switch everything out so I'm going to take out all the empty hangers first put them to the side and then go through each piece of clothing to see if I would still like it for next year or not this one that I got here is pretty new. I got it this year, not too long ago actually, and I really still like it. Very soft. The only thing I don't like is the hoodie is a little heavy, so it pulls everything down in the back. Um, but that's a very minimal thing about it, so I am just going to fold it up. And I have a bin um, on the floor here that I'm going to put everything in so I can put it in the garage. Barbara sweater. This is one of the sweaters that I'm going to keep because it has a memory attached to it, but I have not worn it at all this year. And that is unfortunately because when I washed it, it shrank a little bit. And so the sleeves like cut off like above my wrist, which I really do not like. But I have a separate bin for like memory kind of clothes and that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm going to do with that one. I'm just going to put it off to the side for now. This one I did not wear at all this year either, which is kind of sad because I think it's really cute. It's this little gray sweater with plants on it, and I believe one of my friends got it for me like a couple birthdays or Christmases ago, I can't remember exactly when, but I unfortunately I just didn't, didn't wear it, I didn't go for it this year, and um, so I think I'm going to part with it and give it to the Goodwill or something or put it up on, I don't know, Vinted or something. But anyways, I think I'm gonna part with that one. It's hard for me to part, especially with things that like people have given me. I feel really bad, but um, someone else can enjoy that more than I did. This one I wore quite a lot. And it's funny because I absolutely hate turtlenecks. Um, so this one is a turtleneck and yet I actually really enjoy wearing it and I do have another one floating around here somewhere. It might actually be in here, yeah. That's kind of also a high neck as well, but I still really like it and so I'm going to put this one into the bin. I just hit myself in the face with that one. Okay. And this one 
Paula, my boss, actually gave it to me. And <laughs> I used to think that like cheesy wolf sweaters were like the ugliest thing, um, but I actually really like them now. And so this is what it looks like, Eyes of the Forest. It's all very dramatic and everything, and you can tell like, <laughs> unfortunately like my hair has um, dyed it a little bit, but I think it's really cute. And I like how oversized it is, so that one is definitely going in the bin for next year, or the end of this year I should say. This is the other slightly higher neck that I wore pretty often, and I really liked it, so I'm gonna keep this one. So in here is all of my, I keep like going out shirts here and then I keep work shirts over here. And I have really thick sweaters in here for work that I definitely do not need to be wearing over there right now. On the very bottom here, pajamas are definitely a space that I need to go through because I have a lot of very, very warm pajamas. Like this is fleece. All of these are really warm. And I think I'm just gonna keep the ones I have on now because they're pretty light. I have like a short sleeve in the top in there already. And then everything else is gonna go in there. I have these that I bought at TJ Maxx not too long ago and I can't wait to wear them. They already have the tag still on them, but they're really cute. A nice um, kind of neutral blue. And so that's that, okay. So now we can start changing everything out and I don't have nearly as many summer clothes as I do winter and autumn clothes so usually I can just put everything in here that isn't t-shirts and the other things I can put in, in the drawers that are t-shirts and everything fits pretty well. So I'm just going to start doing that right now. Okay, so you can see I have so many hangers left over from all my winter stuff because I have, like I said, I have way more winter stuff than I do summer stuff and I mostly have t-shirts um, for summer, so there is one more I forgot in here, but um, mostly everything just fits in my drawer and so the only thing I have left to put up in this side of the closet is like my cardigan and my work hoodie that I'm going to keep up here and everything else is going to go into the drawer or the bin, either one. So then let me just fold up my t-shirts and put them into the drawer here. This pajama set is like one of my favorites. It's like this gray t-shirt and shorts and they're like, I literally kind of gravitate towards those the most. Those are the top and these are the bottoms here. That is it for pajamas. I have quite a bit for summer. It's funny because I have the opposite. Like I don't have a whole lot for winter in pajama area, but I do for summer. So anyways, all of that is put away and I have an extra bin that I could fit some more stuff into because my first bin was just absolutely full to the brim with with uh, sweaters and stuff so I think I'm gonna just start putting things in there now and just transferring them over so that everything fits in these bins and I can put them all away. That is my whole closet clear up and it really feels good to get that out of the way because these bins have been sitting in my room for a few weeks now um, and I've been picking out t-shirts from them and all of that and then like putting them um, in the bin and then like just doing the whole thing so it's nice to kind of get that out of the way and finally everything can be put back into storage and all that and I can finally clean up this area. <laughs> but yeah, so that is my very quick video on cleaning out my closet. I am not going to touch this top thing right now. This is not seasonal, this is just like 
Porter syndrome. <laughs> and there's some products in here that I don't use anymore, but honestly, like, I'm just not going to go through that right now because it's a lot. Um, I'll do that over time. So that's not going to be part of the video for now. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of short and kind of straight to the point, but this is just kind of how my closet clear out goes every year. It's just, I have everything where I need it. I put it all away and then just kind of deal with it. So if you guys could give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and comment down below if you guys have cleared out your closet yet and switched out all of your clothes for the new um, season and because I know it's been spring for a while but it's just starting to finally get warm here and um, not my favorite time of year I will say that for sure um, I prefer autumn and winter and I prefer the cold but um, you know the closet clear out is the same nonetheless so comment down below you guys' favorite uh, favorite season and if you have a seasonal mug collection <laughs> like I do as well and also let me know if you would like to see an updated mug collection um, kind of thing so I'll be filming that if you guys kind of want that yeah, that's gonna be it for this video definitely subscribe for more videos in the future and I'll see you in the next one bye